Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Rosie and in today's video I'm going to show you how I edited my beach photographs. So I went out a couple of days ago with Jeremy with my camera to shoot some photographs of a bikini line that I'm a brand ambassador for. So we went outside, took some photographs, and I just wanted to show you the before and after and to show exactly what I did in Lightroom so that you can also go out and take some photographs and achieve the same look. Now it's not super crazy, it's kind of um, just normal if I'm honest, it's not like super vintage or super crazy like drastic, it's just brighter, warmer, clearer and just a nicer photograph overall basically. So I'm going to show you exactly what I did, so let's get into it. So the first thing I want to show you is the before and after so you can see exactly what we're going to be doing here in terms of making it brighter and warmer and just a nicer photograph overall. Now I did change here the little piece of hair, I edited that out, I'm not going to show you that in this video just because that's something else on its own but I will just show you the colours basically, how I made my skin nice and orange, the water nice and blue, it's nice and bright, there isn't, like I said it's not super crazy, it's not super difficult, it's really easy and it's just using the basic settings within Lightroom. So if we reset this photograph, so this is the photograph back to normal, the only thing I've done is cropped it and I made it a little bit straighter to make the horizon here straighter and I've cropped it down to 4x5 for Instagram and I've kind of framed it there so that's the only thing I've done, I'm not going to move that so I'm just going to press done and that's it. So I've written down all of the settings that I used for this photograph on a piece of paper next to me and I'm going to talk you through exactly what I did. And now obviously these settings are perfect for this photograph and they might not apply exactly for your photographs depending on how dark your photograph is or how bright it is, how cool or warm, you know, all these different things change the photograph. So I'm going to show you what I did here. Um, it might work for your photographs, it might not. Lightroom and editing photographs is all, you know, it's all dependent on the photograph itself. And you kind of have to adapt different presets and different settings to what you're working with yourself. If you're new to Lightroom, something you can do down here is you can see the before and the after. So anything that you do here, you can see there with the exposure, you can see the before and after. Now I sometimes like to reference that throughout my editing process, um, but I'm not going to do that for now. I'll show you kind of halfway through what we're doing. So back to this one. Now with this one I did the exposure up plus 70 because it started off a little bit dark. Now here I'll do the before and after and you can see that's just brightened it up so much more. But it just seems a little flat. So the next thing I'm going to move on to is contrast. Now contrast I always tend to bump up about 20. I feel like if you bump it too far it's just too, too dramatic and the other way is not my cup of tea either. So I think plus 20 is a pretty good amount. It's not drastic but it does make a small change and that's kind of what I found what Lightroom is. You kind of make lots of small changes that add up to a big a big difference in the end. It's not about you know pushing all of the different settings crazy to one extreme or the other. Just little tweaks here and there really improve the photograph a whole lot. So the highlights I'm actually going to pull down minus 20 because they're a little bit bright the sky. You can pull it all the way down or all the way up if you want you know the sky to be bright white. I'm just going to pull it down minus 20. The shadows I'm going to pull up plus 20. Now the shadows just brighten up a little bit. You know, you can see kind of around my arm and around the grass, it kind of lightens up there. So I'm going to go plus 20 just to brighten that a little bit. And then the blacks, I'm going to do minus 20. And the blacks is the black areas of the photograph. It either makes them brighter or darker. So I only pull that down 20. I don't want to be too drastic, like I said. Just a little bit is fine. I'm not going to touch any of these ones. I use... I tend to usually pull the clarity up, but I feel like sometimes it makes the photograph too harsh. Um, so I'm just going to leave that at zero for today. And the vibrance is going to go up 20, and the saturation up 10. Now the difference between vibrance and saturation is that vibrance makes the colours pop a little bit more. Um, without affecting the skin tone too much, whereas saturation can really make the skin tone look crazy. So if I pull that up... Do you see how my skin, I mean obviously the greens and things are awful, but my skin isn't too bad. Whereas if you pull the saturation up, my skin goes luminous almost. So I like to pull, often, actually quite often I don't touch the saturation at all, but today I did. So that's where I'm going to leave it at with these. Next up is the colours. So I didn't change a whole lot again, I never really do, but the hue... I'm just checking my paper here. So with this section here, the HSL slider, which stands for Hue, Saturation and Luminance, I'm going to pull the orange down a little bit towards the red. And this gives my skin a little bit of a sun-kissed appearance. 
if you put it too far it goes too like lobster <laughs> but I feel like minus 10 it just makes it a, a slightly bit more redder toned rather than yellowy toned and I quite like that for myself um, and then I'm going to go into saturation and the orange is going to go plus 10 I'm going to pull the greens minus 40 because I really don't like I like my greens to be green just not bright green so I kind of pull down the saturation and pull down the luminance quite often with my greens and yellows as well depending on the photograph and now the aqua and blue I want them to pop out a little bit more on the screen here so I'm going to pull those up to plus 20 and then because the magenta here which is the pink colour on my swimsuit is really standing out a little bit too much for my liking I'm going to pull that down to minus 40 and then another way to change your skin tone is to change the luminance and to make the orange a little bit darker so I'm going to go minus 20 and you might not notice you might not see a whole lot of difference here with the photograph but if you turn this HSL slider on and off do you see how it's made my skin go from yellowy green colour to a nice deep tan colour and it kind of changes the greens as well you can see here makes them a little bit darker doesn't change a whole lot with the blue if I'm honest but I think the main thing is just my skin tone really so as we keep going down I'm not going to use a split toning today um, I'm going to sharpen the image I always pull it up to about 70 or 80 that usually does the trick and I'm going to enable the um, profile clip corrections um, if we look at the before and after here see we've already done you know little bits here and there but it's made such a huge difference now the next thing is to warm up the photograph and to make it a little bit just warmer and sunnier and more like summer basically so I had the temperature at 5750 and the tint I had it up to 13 so that was the photograph basically edited that's everything that I did the before and after you can see it made such a huge difference so as you can see that's the before and after here I didn't make any crazy changes it's not super dramatic but it does make such a huge difference in the photograph overall I love the way that this looks I think it's so nice and warm and inviting and if you didn't see the before photograph you probably wouldn't think it had even particularly been edited and that's what I like about photography is to kind of keep it as natural as possible whilst making it as beautiful as possible at the same time so it's not crazy you know the greens are still green the blues are still blue my skin's nice and warm um but yeah the before and after I think is amazing the only thing I did do is my hair here um I might show you something like that in a different video but I won't do for this one and that's it for this photo that's exactly how I edited it so you can do the same with your photographs the next thing now is just to export it and then to upload onto Instagram. It'll be up there in a couple of days time so stay tuned for that. Make sure you follow me on Instagram. I'll leave a link down below if you do want to follow me on there. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did please do give it a big thumbs up. It really helps me out and make sure you subscribe for more videos. I'm going to be doing a couple more editing um, videos to show you how to edit kind of men's photographs or beach photographs or park or you know different different photographs basically showing you how I do it and then you can learn from me and you can kind of see the tips and tricks and just see just see you know just learn a little bit more about photo editing because I love it so much um so that's all for this video thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one bye mm -hmm.